In recent years, Mars has been featured a lot in the news, and this is because space agencies are gearing up to send missions there. NASA and other companies like SpaceX have been vocal about how they plan to send humans there within the next few decades, with the end goal having various space shuttles carrying humans there daily. It sounds far-fetched, but it's something that researchers have said can happen. Although it can happen though it comes with various obstacles, mainly cost. Setting up something like this will easily go into the billions. To put it into perspective to show you how expensive something like this would be, NASA's Curiosity rover cost them over $2.5 billion, so terraforming Mars and ensuring that it would be habitable for humans would cost considerably more. Some researchers have suggested that terraforming Mars alone would cost in the region of $100 billion to $200 billion, and then from there on it would cost a further few hundred million dollars in missions and supplies. NASA have announced they've begun work on a Moon to Mars mission that plans on sending humans back to the Moon in 2024, and then from there on to the Martian surface with an expected colonisation located in 2033. Jim Bridenstine, the current administrator of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, announced on the 15th of July in 2019 that the new Artemis project, the project featuring the space agency's return to the moon missions, would definitely include plans on human Martian endeavours. Bridenstine elaborated on the plans with the following statement targeted towards the new Artemis mission during his briefing on the project. We are working right now on facts to put together a comprehensive plan on how we will conduct a Mars mission using the technologies that we will be proving at the moon." End quote. There's two sides when it comes to these sorts of ambitious ideas. One side insists that humans need to venture into the stars in order to keep our civilization going, and there's others who say that it's a waste of time, and that instead of spending hundreds of billions of dollars on rovers and spaceships, we could be putting that money towards helping our planet. One scientist said that if we have the power and money to build sophisticated spaceships, and have the ability to terraform a planet so it's more like Earth, why don't we terraform Earth back into Earth, and start making it more livable for future generations? Regardless, Mars is still on the radar for many upcoming missions. Interestingly though, Mars is also the location of some strange anomalies. Although scientists have said that amateur researchers are wrong and that they have too much time on their hands, eagle-eyed viewers have said that in recent years they've made some interesting discoveries. One of the most recent ones to be published on Mars groups is that of this one. It shows what's been described as tracks, and those that have seen them have said that something large must have created them. Various different ideas have been presented in order to explain what these strange markings could be. One person said the following about the photographs. This is one of the more interesting ones that's been captured on Mars. Many people within the UFO community are not aware of this, and it's a shame because it's one of the most interesting ones we have from Mars. It shows what appears to be tracks going on for miles. When I first saw these, they stood out to me because they didn't look natural. The pattern looked strange and I'm not sure this could have occurred naturally. End quote. Something to note though is that this isn't the first time that strange tracks have been found on the Red Planet. The National UFO Center found a similar image which again shows large tracks. They used a measurement tool and calculated that the tracks go on for around 86 miles, with another UFO researcher saying the following. What I find amazing is how long these tracks go on for. They don't belong to the rovers as they're far too big. One of the leading theories is that they could have been put there by an ancient civilization, or this could be remnants of one. End quote. Those who believe that Mars was once inhabited in the past have said that NASA have failed to comment on the images, but skeptics have said the reason NASA doesn't reply is because there's so many of these supposed anomalies, and it would take them forever to reply to each individual person. Skeptics have said that NASA have replied in the past, and that people don't believe them when they present their answers. 
One of the answers they presented in the past to explain away these anomalies is that of pareidolia. But others have said how could this be pareidolia? You can clearly see large prints in the Martian soil that go on for miles, and that you only get this look when something has gone through the area. It's not often you get symmetrical patterns like this in the wild, or have them go on for miles like this, and this is one of the reasons why some have put forward their own theories. Other eagle-eyed viewers that have spent hours looking through old Mars photographs have said they found what looks like animals. One that got featured on many websites was that of the Mars Cramp. This photograph was first discovered back in 2015, and those that saw it said it reminded them of the facehuggers from the Alien franchise. Some who studied the images said you can make out eight legs, while many argued about its size, with guesses ranging from a few feet to the size of a car. Although NASA have said there's nothing strange about this photograph, and what people are seeing is a case of pareidolia, where cracks in rocks makes it appear like there's a creature there, further saying that there's never been a photograph that they haven't been able to explain, and that there isn't any life on the red planet. So what do you make of these kinds of photographs? Do you think they show proof of tracks? Or that of an ancient civilization that once called this place home? Or do you think people are looking too deep into this, and that these are just natural formations? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.